Well, hello again viewers, here come the Segway boys, it is 10 euros to hire these for 15 minutes, you can get them down at the bottom of the escalators just down the road there, I've done another video on my other channel showing you where you can hire them, I don't think there's many places to really drive about in them here so I don't know if you get the full benefit, if you hire them like say Tenerife, a big massive promenade, you can go for miles, you'd probably like that better but anyway, look as if they're having fun. I just thought I would tell you about a famous scam to avoid in Portugal and all over Europe. I'll let you know about it in a minute. We're at Arbofura Old Town in the square. It is lovely here. I've not seen any problems here whatsoever. It seems like a perfectly safe place, but as, as with any tourist place, just common sense. I actually seen this happening in Tenerife. Or, or sorry, I heard about it happening in Tenerife and I seen it happening in Faro when I was there because there was quite a few people, unfortunately, begging for money, which we don't know if the circumstances, fair enough, but it's quite a well-known scam. I'll let you know about it just in a wee minute. Let's take a wee walk. I'm going back up to my hotel, so I'll take you with me. Now, this scam involves two euros. Hold on, viewers. Two euros. So, there's a lot of well-known tourist scams wherever you go. This involves two euros. I'll tell you about it just in a wee minute. And it could involve one euro or anything else. I've seen it happening in Faro and I've heard of it happening in Tenerife and some other places. I've done a few videos on the channel warning you about various scams, so I'll just let you know about this one. Just be careful. Okay, let's go, viewers. Let's head up to my hotel. The Villa, a seafood hotel, £33 a night with hotels.com quite like the location, the hotel is very noisy at night, there's no soundproofing in the hotel and there's very annoying people staying next to me and making a lot of noise. Um, apart from that, I've got no complaints about the hotel, I love the location, that's why I booked in another night. Old Town is lovely, really like Aberfura, come back again in, in a second. So, when I was in Faro, as I said, there's quite a few people kicking about, asking for stuff. Remember I went to the bus station? And, and I was asking about where the timetable was and the guy just pointed to it in the wall and then he said, one euro please. <laughs> he's wanting a euro for, for the directions, right? And uh, he just laughed and I said no. But in all seriousness, you do have to be careful about certain things. Two euros. I've heard this happening in Tenerife recently. I think it happens in Benidorm, Magaluf. Probably happens here, but I've seen it in Faro. I've not seen it here, but it happens in most places. Nice wee side streets here, absolutely beautiful. I'm heading back up that way. I've done a few walks down here, you'll see them in the channel soon. It's an alley hop. That cow goes everywhere, doesn't it? Everywhere. We walk up here. So, sign posted here. Pretty well, there's a plane going over. It's like an old style plane. It's like an old military plane, isn't it? Um, be aware if anybody comes up to you in the street, especially if you're around shops and says, can I get change of two euros? What's your natural reaction when they first ask, when somebody asks if you get change? Unless unless you know you've got no coins on you, which nowadays is quite common. The last couple of years people have stopped carrying cash a lot. But your natural reaction, first of all, is to check your pockets. You start padding your pockets, don't you, see if you get any change. Now, if that person is with another person or a group of people, then what they're basically doing is locating where your valuables and your wallet are. So if you go in your back, so if you go in your back pocket, so if you go in your back pocket or your front pocket, that person then has identified where your wallet, your change, possibly your notes and your values are, and then the other person is going to distract you. I hear of this happening so often in different countries, it's a very, very common scam. So if anybody asks you for change, be very, very wary, especially if you were standing here. If somebody come up and ask you for change here, it would be totally bizarre. Look at all the shops around about here that have got change. So if you're in the middle of nowhere as well, it still would be quite strange, but especially if you're in a built-up area like here. So be aware of that scam and keep your possessions safe. I'll tell you about a couple of other common ones. They're very, very well known. Let's head up here. They're very well known. I've done a video in Tenerife and in Benidorm. Just letting you know about a couple of scams. 
anybody that comes up, ask you for directions especially. Not all the time, That's that sometimes it's genuine. I've asked people for directions and I've got Google Maps because I'm an idiot, right? But if somebody comes up and they've got a phone on them, the likelihood is they've got directions on Google Maps. So again, you start to bring your phone out your pocket. Just be wary of that as well. Head up the side streets here. I'll show you where I'm staying at the end. Quite a good location. That's O'David's restaurant there. Um, again, anybody comes up, ask you to sign a petition. 100% that's a scam. Anybody comes up, puts anything around your wrist. You'll see it quite often. They'll put a wee band around your wrist and then they'll ask you for money to take it off. Usually they'll target vulnerable people, maybe young people or even older people. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Again, you need to be careful with that one because they'll ask you for money to take the wristband off. But also, if they've got friends with them, they could start doing other things. So you need to be aware of that as well. Let's head up this hill of yours. It's a very, very steep hill here. Somebody commented on the channel that their daughter got married in the church up here next to my hotel, so that was nice. Lovely wee spot up here. We've got the tunes bar right next door. Wee Portuguese bar here as well. Tourist train stop there. So there is the tunes bar, quite a well known bar here. Opens at 11 in the morning, open till late. A good selection of beers I've got in here. Sagre, just as a pint of that down at Marina, two euros, lovely. Prefer it to Superbook. Thanks, Ian, for pointing it out to me. So, was it this church to get married in? Maybe. There's another beach building up here as well, I'm not quite sure. This is a restaurant, if you're looking for sea views, wait to show you this. So, they're the common scams. In Benidorm, I've done a video, it said over 200,000 views showing you the P-men in action. So basically they've got a wee table, a couple of containers, and they've got a P and they're shuffling it. And they've got various people in, in the scam, kidding on they're winning money. You'll never win money, it's an absolute scam. And, and also you need to be careful you don't get pickpocketed. Check out Lucy, the Benidorm enthusiast. She's got a good channel, she's done a wee video on it as well. It's very well known in Benidorm. You'll see it in some other places, but just be aware of that as well. How nice is it here? Sitting, having a meal there. That looks absolutely amazing there. Look, guy just sitting with his beer. Ah, oh, looking out to sea. Almost wish I was there instead of doing this video. But I'm doing it for you viewers. <laughs> Only joking. Neil at the hotel. Let me know in the comments if you heard of that scam where they ask you for change of a two euros. You could ask you for change of a one euros as well. You could ask you for change of five euros. 10 euros, 20 euros. The common theme is they ask you for change. So just be very, very aware of that. I've seen it in Faro when I was there. In the old town in Faro, there's quite a few people outside asking for money. Now they've lately just got bowls out asking for money, but I did see somebody asking a couple for change. Her English wasn't great, so I couldn't quite understand what she was asking for, but then I seen her holding out the money. She was wanting change, obviously. So again, be very wary if anybody asks you for change. It's probably unlikely in this day and age that people are going to require change and unfortunately we've, all, we've always got to err on the side of caution genuinely people might need directions or change but it's not very often nowadays let's walk up to my hotel I'll show you a wee bar I was in I watched the Wales Ukraine game I mentioned a few other videos I walked in and the girl behind the bar says Wales Ukraine, who are you supporting? I said well I need to support my fellow Welsh um, viewers on here and I says, um, where are you from? She goes, Ukraine. So I felt bad about that. <laughs> I felt Eve Moss when they get beat. Unlucky. They were very, that's a very good side, Ukraine. The boy who plays for Man City is a really good player. I've seen a few exchange rates today. They look quite shocking. I don't even know what the exchange rate is back in the UK. But I've seen this advertised in quite a few places. 108. Pretty bad. And I was in... Um, where was I last week? Two weeks ago? Um, in Tenerife. I'm trying to remember where it was. It was Tenerife for Benidorm. You, the exchange rate was 115, 116. So I don't know whether they're at it with a really bad exchange or today maybe the exchange rate is as bad. Who knows? Could be. Rangers fans, don't get too excited. That's not a Rangers bar. That's the bar I was in, the Bluebell bar. 
they've got a rooftop terrace which I didn't realise to have an inn I sat downstairs it's a lovely wee spot a nice traditional old bar it's not it's not a football bar but it has football on when I went in here's another bar Eddie's bar and restaurant sort of quite late they've got a food bit at the back there I'll show you so that's the Bluebell Bar, that's the roof terrace, doesn't open until later on, it's quite busy, there's a lot of locals come in, when I was sitting in, quite a few people came in and just nodded to the girl behind the bar and she just said pint, yeah, so obviously people in all the time, they get used to it. Now, Eddie's Bar, my hotel's just up here, e Eddie's, Eddie's Bar um, is on the left hand side, I've got some guys shout, shouting, shouting nonsense to me there, um, I went in there, we were in there to watch um, the football the other day and um, they didn't have commentary on so I didn't watch it in there, I'm afraid I think if you're advertising football you need to put the commentary on don't you? And it's a wee tip, Eddie's bar this bar's not been open yesterday but it's open now a few people have asked me about it Merlin's takeaway drinks available which could be handy for my hotel because it's right next to it so that's Merlin's, they do live entertainment, good selection of gins. And there's an Abbey Church building, I believe. It's quite a nice wee spot, isn't it? And here is my hotel. Right here, viewers. So I'm in two minds to recommend this or not, I think, for £33 a night. It's not bad value. It's got a swimming pool. The rooms are dated, but they're absolutely fine. I mean, I wouldn't complain about them too much. They're fine. Um, but there's a lot of noise at night. Uh, it's carpeted uh, hallways. Anytime anybody locks a door, opens a door, flushes the toilet, opens a window, anything, you hear everything and there's really annoying people staying next to me making a lot of noise during the night. So I'm in two minds about it, we'll see how it goes tonight, <laughs> we'll see. So, just be careful viewers. Remember, avoid the scams. If you get asked for change, asked to sign any petitions, asked to participate in anything, be very, very aware. Hope you found the video useful and you've enjoyed the wee walk in Albuquerque at Old Town. I love it here. I'll come back here in a second. I'm just popping in to charge some phones. I'm heading back out. Um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit the wee red button there that says subscribe. It's absolutely free. It does not cost a penny. That's the good news. And if you're interested in new videos from Portugal and other places, then hit the wee red button. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. The guys in the Eddie's bar are still shouting over at me. What a pain in the arse they are. They really are. Thanks for watching, guys.